Hello, folks. Papa Top 912 and Gamer TT 911. And today we're coming at you again with one of our famous recipes. And the recipe for today is Seafood Eggs Benedict. That's right. You heard her right, people. Seafood Eggs Benedict. This is our twist on the classic recipe. So instead of using English muffins and Canadian bacon with your poached egg and holiday sauce, we're going to use a little bit of bacon bits, some blackened shrimp, and we're going to use those husk rolls instead of the um, English muffin. So we came up with this ourselves, just wanting to mix it up a little bit. Those husk rolls are already pre-cooked, so all you do is just open up the packet, drop it on the plate, and put it on there. You don't have to worry about heating up your um, muffin or putting butter on it and toasting and things like that. That's already done. And who wants a little flimsy piece of Canadian bacon when you can have some fresh applewood smoked bacon bits and blackened shrimp? Doesn't that sound delicious? So I'm gonna go ahead and go over the ingredients, which you can all see up there. And it's very easy and it's a pretty plain recipe, but we start in the middle here with some bacon bits. Then we have some, not colossal, but these are the eight to 12 count. And those are the 12 to 16, I'm sorry, 16 to 20 count. These are your Argentinian reds, and those are your fresh South Georgia whites. Straight off the boat, people never even made it into the market. So we're just gonna be doing a comparison between those two shrimp today. In our recipe, we're gonna put one, two, one of each shrimp on each of our Benedict, and we're just gonna see which one we like better. Then we have here, some eggs and some Kerrygold butter, a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, then some a fresh lemon, the husk rolls that we already talked about, some blackening seasoning, some sweet Hungarian paprika, and a little bit of tarragon. So you can see it's not a lot of ingredients up here. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do, and then we'll kind of go through each step and put it all together. This whole thing should take no more then about 20 minutes for complete plating. But all we're gonna do is, we're gonna, you see the bacon's already done. I rendered that bacon down and I'm gonna use those bacon drippings along with a little bit of ghee to blacken the shrimp. And on the shrimp, I'm just gonna put the blackening seasoning on there, nothing else. This is the Zatarans, but there's a hundred different blackening seasons. Just find the one you like and use that one. So we're just gonna cook those shrimp just for a couple minutes, just till they get done and they start to curl. Once they start to curl, we know they're gonna be done. If they turn into a complete C, they're pretty much overdone. So we're gonna to try to avoid doing that. And again, we got two different ones. We got the larger Argentinians and then slightly smaller, fresh Georgia whites. And we're gonna do that comparison. And then as far as the eggs, we're gonna cook the eggs two different ways as well. This is kind of experimentation day. You can see over here, I got the sous going. So we're going to cook three of the eggs in the sous at 167 degrees for 13 minutes. So we're gonna cook ours for 13. Mama like hers a little bit more done. So we're gonna let hers go to about 15 minutes. And then as soon as we take them out, we're gonna put them in a ice bath to stop the cooking. And then the other three, I'm just gonna do like your traditional poached egg style on the stove. I can show you how to do that as well because not everybody has a sous vide maker, a cooker just laying around on their counter. So I'm going to show you the traditional way to make the um, poached eggs as well. So you can do this at home. Then the spices, the tarragon and the paprika, and then the lemon and the salt and the butter, all that is going to go in the hollandaise sauce. The hollandaise sauce is pretty simple. We're just going to use one egg yolk and we're going to use the juice of that lemon, that just the juice of one fresh lemon a uh, sprinkle of that coarse sea salt, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of tarragon in it. And then we're gonna blend it up in this emulsion blender. And while I get that blended, you kinda wanna cook that to, I mean, you wanna blend that together for a couple minutes to let that egg get nice and frothy and get in there and get all that juice and stuff mixed into it. And then we're gonna slowly ladle in a stick of the melted butter. And that butter has to be really hot, like bubbling, boiling hot, but not scorched. And what'll happen is 
that hot butter is going to cook that egg and it's going to thicken up that hollandaise sauce. And then sometimes I do this and the holiday sauce doesn't get quite as thick as I want to. And then I just cheat. I bring in an emergency kit and I just use a little bit of this cornstarch. Just put a teaspoon in there and blend it in. And between the hot egg and that cornstarch, the holiday sauce will thicken up. Now I know if you look at a traditional holidays recipe, this ain't nowhere close to how you do it. But this is the easy poor man's method of doing it. Because I've done holiday sauce before with the double boiler. I can do it, but let me tell you, I have messed up a lot of eggs. I've had super buttery fried eggs, and then I just had watery uncooked eggs. It's, holiday sauce is a pretty hard sauce to do until you get used to doing it. So found this method on the internet and boom, said never no more. It's so easy that even Teeny can do it by herself. So. Now I'm going to go ahead and break from this video, start some of the uh, prep, which is one, I'm going to take these eggs, I'll, you can, got it at 167, I'm going to turn that soup back on, I already had it warming up, but I turned it off because I didn't want the humming while I was talking, but now it's humming while I'm talking, how about that? Anyway, that's going to get up to 167, I'm going to set the timer for 13 minutes, in the meanwhile, the other three eggs, I'm going to take over to the stove and I'm going to poach those traditional style. And then we'll set those aside and I will blacken the shrimp. And then I will make the holiday sauce. I might do that reverse. I might go ahead and make the holiday so it can kind of thicken up and then blacken the shrimp so that they can be nice and fresh and hot right when we put them on those husk rolls. Anyway, got a lot of stuff going on and it's a lot of things to do in 20 minutes, especially when you're trying to do it by yourself. My first mate just ran back upstairs with mama. She ain't want nothing to do with the cooking today. So your boy is on his own today, but we're still going to make this happen for you. So stay tuned and watch how all this here gets put together and then you'll see the finished plating. Be back in a few. So what you want to do here, people, is you can see I cracked my egg into this ladle. I put a little salt in the water, and then I'm starting a vortex. I'm spinning this thing clockwise, and I'm starting this vortex here. And what it's going to do is, once I put this egg in, it's going to fold in a circle and wrap around itself. And that's what you want it to do right there. You want that egg to wrap around itself. And you can see that I really have it on just a low simmer there because you don't want those bubbles in the pan to break your egg. So we're going to let this here egg cook for a couple minutes and then we'll take it out. We'll do the other two. Again, we let mama stay in there like one minute or so longer because that's how she likes hers a little bit more done. But Tini and I, we like our eggs a little runny. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing these eggs. And then we'll move on over to making the holiday sauce. And then we will blacken those shrimp real quick. So just stay tuned and I'll be back. All right, guys, so you can see this lemon here, if I squeeze it, I don't know if you're going to really be able to see this or not, but I'm giving it a pretty good amount of force. You see it's not really giving, but if you take that lemon and you roll it on your countertop, those cells and membranes inside that lemon will 
give up the ghost, as I like to say. And it doesn't take long. So now look at this lemon. See how much it's given? I mean, it's really juicy now. So all that juice is ready to come out. And I am ready to take it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in here. And I'm just going to juice it into this cup. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt and the egg yolk. And then we're going to blend that up. So there you go right there, folks. Now we have us a perfectly singular egg yolk. Got a little more of the white under there. These little tools are the greatest. Egg number one. Egg number two. Now we're gonna let mama's egg go for two more minutes. Juice. Couple sprigs of salt. Little shake of tarragon. And for those two minutes, I am going to go ahead and do the immersion with this. And then we're going to pour. So y'all can see there, see how that's coating that emulsion blender right there? This holiday sauce is ready. And you can see all that steam coming out of there. So it's nice and hot. So that egg is nice and cooked. So we're just gonna sit this to the side now and we're gonna take these shrimp on over to the stove and get them blackened. All right, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but I got this baby nice and piping hot to smoke point. That's those bacon renderings with just a teaspoon of ghee. So all we're gonna do now is just take these shrimp and just drop them in. And it ain't gonna take them but a second to cook. And make sure you whip that oil around in there. shrimp in. Now I'm just going to give them a nice juicy coating of this blackening seasoning. And I got that flame up pretty good. Because I want them to cook, not steam. I want these shrimp to cook and not seen. All right, give them a little flippy flip. Now that I flip them, I'm gonna turn my pan up all the way on high now. I want them to get cooked. See that when they're shriveling up to the seat? I was telling y'all, once they go a certain point, they get to that overcooked point. These here are doing good. The smaller one is cooking. So about 30 more seconds. I'm 
I'm picking these boys out. And all these seasons, the one side, the seasons get down in that butter. And you can see, I didn't even put any seasoning on this side, but you can see it's got plenty of seasoning on it right there. So if that seasoning was in that butter, and now that other side in that butter. And now I'm going to just roll them. Roll them around. Coat them. And I got this fire hot as it'll go. Alright folks, welcome back. As you can see now, I've already got the husk on the plate. I put two shrimp. This is the Argentini, that's the South Georgia. And then I just sprinkle some of that bacon right on top of that. Now I'm going to put the eggs on. So I got this first egg right here. Put that egg right there. And then I'm going to take one of the sous vide eggs and we're going to see how that turns out. So we'll slide this over for a second. So we're going to take that sous vide egg and just try to get that egg out of there. It's supposed to be able to just crack it and then the egg just fall out, but I ain't getting that. There we go. There's that sous vide egg. So we're going to take that one and put it right on top. So we'll slide that back to the middle there. Now from there, you can see my hollandaise sauce. Oh, it thickened up perfectly. No need at all to add any cornstarch to that one. It's nice and frothy and airy. And we're just going to drizzle some of that right on top. Of each one. A little bit more on that. Boom. Then I'm going to top it off again with just a few pieces of bacon bits. And then just a shake of tarragon. And then a little bit of that sweet Hungarian paprika. So there you have it right there, people. I'm going to turn this light off for a second here. So you can see it in the shadows a little bit better. But that is the Seafood Eggs Benedict. So we're going to go ahead and eat these. And I'll let mama and baby girl tell you how they taste. So I'm going to go ahead and plate the rest of them up and get them downstairs. All right, people. We have the Seafood Eggs Benedict all plated up now. You can see them right there. So my trusty taste tester is going to be in charge. Stand up right here. And she's going to tell y'all. I didn't tell her what's what. So we're going to give her a couple bites. So first one is going to be from Exhibit A on this side of Exhibit A. All right, nom, 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 nom. now we're going to go on this side of Exhibit A. We're going to get a little bit of that yolk, a piece of the shrimp. Ooh. 
Whew, messing that up a little bit. It's all good though. It's all good. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. When you get finished smacking, <laughs> you gotta tell the people which one you like better, the first bite or the second bite? Mm -hmm. The first bite. All right, people, she liked the first shrimp better than the second shrimp. Now we're gonna come over to this one and we're gonna try this again. All right, so we're gonna try it again, people. A little bit more shrimp on there. Oops, didn't mean to hit the camera, but it is what it is. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Get a little piece of the egg there too. Oops, total deconstruction right there, people. Sometimes it happens. But this is my plate, by the way. Yes, it's your plate. Yeah, this is your plate. All right. So which one you like better? Bite one or bite two? Bite two. All right. So you like bite one from the first one and bite two from the second one. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can tell what's going on here. All right, so you all over the board. Now, <laughs> which egg did you like better? The first egg or the second egg? I like both. <laughs> you gotta pick one. I can't, it's too good. Okay, well. Out of the two, the first bite of the first egg and the second bite of the second one which one tastes better which one is king the first bite so the first bite was a sous vide egg with an argentinian shrimp and the second bite was the sous vide egg was the regular poached egg with the georgia shrimp they both taste the same delicious all right all right folks i wanted to come back and just do a little follow-up for you um, now that we've had a chance to just eat everything, again, they were both equally delicious, but I just wanted to kind of go over the difference between the sous vide egg and then the regular poached egg. The poached egg is just, you know, it's what we're familiar with, it's what we're comfortable with, and it's good, and we love it. And the sous vide egg was slightly different. But it was just more um like custardy. If you can see in the video, the sous vide egg, the yolk was done a little bit more in all of the sous vide eggs, which means that I probably, instead of doing 13 minutes, maybe I'll do like 11 minutes instead. But it was still delicious. It was just creamy. And not like when you boil an egg, like a soft boiled egg. It was just different had a different texture, it just slid down your throat, and if you just mashed it with your fork, it just kind of, it didn't crumble, it just kind of spread out, like clay -Doh, like a wet clay -Doh. Anyway, just wanted to give you that little recap there. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't forgot which one I liked better. Again, they were both just very good, and same thing the little one said, and Mama followed up with it as well. Um, the sweetness in those Argentinian shrimp, you can just tell the difference in the sweetness and the texture. They're just a softer, more buttery texture. The uh, Georgias are a little more denser and have a little more chew to them. That's the difference between the two, and that was the difference between the eggs. So again, Papa Top 912, signing off. Catch y'all in the next video.